สวัสดีครับยินดีต้อนรับครับ Welcome back to another coding session with Spot Skills ผมเชื่อสุนิยครับวันนี้เราจะต่อไปจากครั้งที่แล้วครับครั้งที่แล้วครับเราทําให้ส่วนนี้ครับเราทํา responsive form ข้างบน image ครับ and we'll be moving on to our footer section เราจะตอนนี้แก้ไข footer section ของเราครับ I'm gonna change up a few things ข้างในนี้ครับเพราะว่าไม่ชอบดูแบบนี้ครับ I want to have a different cleaner look and a cleaner feel so ผมจะแสดงว่าใช่อย่างไรครับ So let's get started. ผมจะเก็บข้างใน mobile uh, view ของเราครับและจะเริ่ม coding ข้างใน uh, index ของเราครับ So in my footer section, ผมจะแค่เขียนมา footer, footer, whoops. และจะเพิ่ม class background dark. จะไม่เห็นเปลี่ยนไปอะไรเพราะว่ายังไม่มีอะไรข้างในนี้ครับ And in my footer class, I'm going to add in the bottom copyright information here down below. So let's get this section taken care of. And so we'll do a div, and we'll do our copyright, copyright, and we'll change that up. Footer copyright. The ข้างในนี้จะแค่เขียนว่า p tag, and we'll have a at or ampersand symbol budget. Copy. ก็มี copyright symbol ทีนี้จะแสดงว่าดูยังไรครับ So copy 2021 all rights reserved spot skills โอเคดูยังไรครับ So ดูไม่ดีครับ It doesn't look very good at all All I have is this It's hardly legible You can barely see anything that's going on Whoops We can barely see anything that's going on, and let's see if we can't even. Yeah, we can not even make it out yet. So, what am I going to do? I am going to change the background for this background success, and that'll change the background to a nice green color, and then we can see what's going on. Cool. The tini form k ya kienwa class text white m x auto. And there we go. Uh, whoops, we want to have this in the text center, and that kicks it off to the center. Now we have this bottom white section here. t a m h e n d i we can zoom in on it, and we can see where that's coming from. So now we have this bottom margin showing up. See, som t a n g l a n k a p b a w a m i s i s o m b a w a p text. อัตโนมัติมี margin แล้วกับกับ text ทีนี้จาก user agent style sheet มัน this comes with p tags so we have to get rid of it and we can easily do that by saying m 0ในหลังจากเขียนว่า m 0 okay now we don't have that little white section down below this is the end of the page and เขียนว่า py 3 now we'll give this a nice padding cool and That should be it. ถ้าเกิดว่าเราอยากน้อยกว่า font size ทำได้ข้างใน style sheet ของเราครับ but I'll leave that for another time. และตอนนี้เราตั้งใจบนส่วนของ locations. So what are we going to concentrate on now? Now I'm going to start doing this little section up here. All right. So div ใส่ทั้งหมดข้างใน container. แต่ข้างใน container ผมอยากใช้ py ข้างบนและข้างล่าง padding of five up and down. And in here, we're gonna do a div uh, row dot uh, row. And what I want to do here also is add in uh, actually outside of the row. Actually, I want to do footer contacts, footer contacts, and inside my footer contacts, to me sum the w a k up. So we have one, two, and three. So I'm gonna build out the first one, and then we'll copy the rest. So this will be on an LG. Uh, we'll call it an LG four, and uh, make it an LG three. We'll see. Je hendu yang rai kap. I want to first have my image, images slash map icon dot png. Map icon maja kina kap dot images. Tagar wami image folder ni kap. We have map dash icon tini, and then I'm going to kick in a span. เพราะว่าผมอยากใช้ inline แบบนี้ครับ So actually before I do the span let's just see what this looks like ดูอย่างไรครับ So there's a little 
image there. We want to give it a background of background of white. There we go. And we also want to make the width a little bit smaller. So we want to have the width of, let's say, 75%. OK, perfect. Now that's much smaller. And we want to have an MX auto. So it kicks it off into the center. Perfect. So now we are going to give it a padding of top and bottom. EY of, let's say, 2. Nice. Le Pomiak Chai footer contacts. I'm going to just give it some rounded border, uh, border radius of, let's say, 50 pixels. And there we go. Looks much better. And here we can do uh, text center. That kicks my image off to the center. Now, what I'm going to do also is put in a span here. So span will, this is a span. We'll see what it looks like. So now my text goes on the side. Hagarwa pom kienwa p tag tini cup. P. This is a p tag. P tag will come underneath automatic. So hagarwa pom yak chai icon le kang lang ru kang kang. Nice at hanagani pom yak chai kang kang cup. So I don't want the p tag, I just want my span tag. And that's really it. And I'm going to change this icon to, let's say, Bangkok, Thailand. That looks okay. Perfect. So now I'm going to copy this over again, and we're going to copy this down one, two, and three. So this will be a uh, phone icon. Plus six, six, one, two, three. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Le tini ani plien ting email icon. Le name at spot skills dot to dot ph. Okay. Do my di tony cup. So what I want to do actually is maybe keep this all in the center. Or if I want to uh, move it all to the left, I can. I can get rid of the text center and just do text left. There we go. And give each one of these a specific padding. So footer contact. Control C. Control V. And Control V. There we go. And I can give each one of these a padding left or right. So I can do padding E3. And we'll see what that looks like. I always forget S or E now. Um, let us let me make sure. E three four. Oops. There we go. E E. Ah, there it is. So it's P S four. So I can do M X auto, or I can just do P S of five on all of these, and then I'll move it a little bit over. So let's just do P S four. That'll work. And I'll copy this, control C, control V, and control V. There we go. And I'll also give it a P, uh, give these a padding of P, Y, of 1. And we'll see what that looks like. There we go. And so now these look all pretty decent on a small screen. So if we change this over to a widescreen, it looks okay. Not bad. And then if we change this over to, let's say, a iPad um, and see what that looks like. Now, uh, this, I'm going to have to change this up to, there we go. There we go. All right. This does not look great. I'm going to change this up again for these screen sizes here. And let's see what's going on first. So Tagarwaja by footer, footer, container, row, and give myself some more screen real estate here. There we go. So we have this one, this one, and this one. So my width is at 75%. Maybe I want to change this up to 100 and that will give me more screen space. And I want to do a Justify content, so I want to have all of these. Pomiak chai kang mot kang nai center. Justify content center. Whoops. 
All right, there we go. So now everything's in the center. But what happens if I change up to a screen size bigger? So that is going to be a problem. So this is where an issue comes in with trying to center content and have it be um, both responsive and dynamic in the same, uh, same screen size. So what we're gonna have to do in here is change it up. So this one looks decent, but it's still not great. So what I'm gonna do is change it up to where we have it looking okay on the iPad on 760, or sorry, on anything above 1024. This looks okay to me, but anything smaller, Tagarwa Pai Lekwa 768 Lekwa column, I wanna still use column MD3. So I'm gonna still use that same arrangement. Oops, that's not what I want. There we go. And where did I do that one wrong? There it is. So that one still looks okay, slightly. Um, and maybe I can make this an MD2, or sorry, MD4, MD4, and an MD4. And there we go. So that looks pretty nice on medium screen sizes. And if we flip back to a wider screen size, there we go. Medium size, there we go. And now if we come back to our iPhone 6, 7, and 8, we have it not so great on the landscape, but looking pretty decent on the iPhone. So with this one, if we wanted to move it into the center, we do need a custom query on here for sizes smaller than 768. And we can do that by just doing a custom in here. So if we wanted to change that at media, max width, let's just say 700 pixels. If so anything smaller, that'll get the landscape up here. So I want dot footer contacts, display none, make sure we have the right element, and we do. So I can just say footer contacts, uh, text center. Oops. Text align, sorry, center. And that does not look so great. So what I might want to do is a padding on the left side, padding left of 40 pixels. and that'll kick it over a little bit more. And let's just do, let's say, 100 pixels. And that should look all right. There we go. Now that looks much nicer and much cleaner. And it automatically adjusts. So now when we do this, um, that might be a problem. So we can change this up to a percentage and just say 30%. And see what that looks like. Not so great yet. Much nicer. And there we go. So I'll leave that the way it is. If we want to do custom specific screen sizes, we can. Um, or in here, we can just do call uh, SM block. And that'll automatically change it up to a block on small screen sizes. And here, we can keep that one the way it is. That's fine. We'll see what this looks like. All right. So now on wider screens, we have this setup here on slightly wider, smaller screens. Clean Python Tini Cup. Le Ta Yak Clean Python iPad Pro. Me Lubeb Ni Cup. Le Ta Gorapai Landscape. Lubeb Ni Cup. So automatically adjusting by using different screen sizes, column LG3, column medium screen sizes. I want to take up a little more space. And for SM, So play around with this. It's a little confusing and really um, complicated at times to understand in the beginning. But once you get used to it, it's much simpler. OK. These are footer contacts. I'm going to put in a footer contacts. Le Kanglang links or site links. 
So in here we have our div of a um, site footer, site navigation. So we're going to have three sections, one, two, and three. And this fourth one I'll put at the very bottom. So we'll have a uh, row. And what I'm going to do is just copy the showcase image up here. Uh, where did it go? So Kangbon, me uh, enter domain name, Kangbon Nan. So I'm going to copy this whole div and toss it down here into my site nav at the bottom. Showcase search to footer subscribe. And I can have this one instead of, I can get rid of VPN dark to VPN success. And we can have this one be our footer subscribe button. And this will be subscribe. Save. Le kang lang du yang rai kap, du bep ni kap. So it looks really similar to what we have down below here into our enter your email, subscribe. So this one says enter domain name. We can change that to enter your email. Enter your email. And that's it. Enter your email. Done. So this one is the same as this. Cool. Now, so div dot site or footer site nav logo kang ni just site image le image ke image ke footer logo tini kap so gonna type that in images slash footer logo dot png can on cup le tini div uh, actually let's take a look at what that looks like so looks pretty big um funny pom yak chai footer site nav logo site nav pom yak chai py kung bon le kung lang uh five so i'm going to add in five pixels of padding up above and below all right so there's my web hosting it's a little big i'll just play in by my uh We'll change that up in just a minute. And we'll say uh, div call. Uh, I want to make this three wide, maybe four wide. And we'll give this a width of 100%. So right now, do click like an almost 50%, but we're going to change this up to a class of width 100. And that takes up the full column because I haven't said anything about screen size. So if I put in an LG4, now it will actually take up uh, a little bit of the screen because I don't have any other elements. So pom just I element kang nai ni cup. Um, oh, whoops, that's a problem. My sai, my chai, div bit cup. So there we go, that's weird. So now it took up um, only 100% of, 25% of the screen. So. There we go. And now I'm going to add in my other columns, div column uh, four, and we'll call this one the useful links footer useful section. And we'll call this an H3 for class uh, footer useful title. And Useful links. Kianwa Tini. Oh, Kianwa. Yeah, useful links. And Kanglang Ni. Just say UL. Dot footer useful links. Le just say custom links. Do I cut? Le Kang Nai Ni. Just say LI list item useful footer. Useful link. Tagawa yak plain by kang na anako. Ja kien a tag doi. So in my a tag, I'll have a home and this will go to home. Le copy kang mot ni. Pom jasai 
kind of EIY up, so we get some more space, so it's easier to see. So we have our home, we have the contact. We have our services. Let me about. Let me about. Do you know what I have? Can you see me? Okay. Do chui chui cup. Doesn't look that great, but we can't see the useful title, so I'm going to change this to text white and text. There's our useful title, useful links. Oops. There's useful links. And I'm going to change this to also be uppercase as well. So text uppercase. Name by Tim Nankap. All right. And we can do our text white here as well. And whoops, that'll change the bullets, but we don't have an easy way to change these links. I can do text white, text white, text white here, but it's much simpler. So, um, oh, can't do that. Oh, because it's a anchor tag. Um, let me see if, I can't remember if we can do this or not. So let's just try it, text white. And okay, we can. There, me text decoration, So it's much easier to format anchor tags in CSS than it is in Bootstrap alone. So I can use items like Navlink um, or a class like Navlink, but it's much easier um, if I just do it in here. So if I do a nav link here, it'll change up the spacing, but I personally want to use CSS for this whoops so I'm just gonna put this all over into CSS and before we do that I'm gonna get our product section taken care of Ponja come high product section so I'm gonna copy this whole thing copy paste that in and instead of useful product Let me product links. Do I got? So I'm gonna get rid of um, home and all of these things. Just the invite to web hosting, domain hosting, WordPress hosting, VPN hosting. Let me array Kienwa VPN hosting, Windows dedicated hosting, uh, dedicated hosting. So copy Tang Song Ni Tap or Ni Song Tang Ni Tap and pop in dedicated hosting and Windows. Hey, copy Nan Tap. So now we have all six of our things here. So what I'm going to do is get rid of the text white and get rid of the text white here. Let's go try custom links tiny cup. So kang nai footer context kang lang ni footer section the custom links. Hom ya try list image. Bawa tiny try custom image. So if we zoom in here, uh, let's see if we can zoom in. Whoops, wrong place. I'm gonna copy that, go down. Live demo again. Le tajapai kanglang tini cup. Me images tini cup. Me web hosting tini. So I wanna use this list style and take a look at these list styles they have and use that same image. So list style image tini URL her dot dot slash images slash local chai b-u-l-i-t dash icon b-u-l-i-t dash icon icon dot png Raja do yang raikap perfect there we go and 
Now I'm going to do the same custom links for my A tag. And I can just say text decoration none. And color is white. And that changes all of it to look much nicer. All right, so now we've got our 1024 style set up. We've got our, now this is what it looks like on smaller screens. So we're just gonna adjust this for smaller screen sizes. So to play and buy between smaller screen sizes on Cup, we wanna have our column MD four. And maybe we wanna do the same for this one. Oops, LG four. And there we go, LG4. And now on medium and large screens, it'll look like this. So we have large screens, now we have medium screens, and now Tajipli and Python iPhone 6, okay, this is what it will automatically flip to. Not bad. So we automatically have some spacing, and if I go wide here, perfect. It looks not so bad, it looks pretty good. So in my web hosting, I want to give some padding down below and above. So here, I'm going to just add in a uh, padding of py of 3. And there we have some padding between these two elements. Now, what I want to do here is also um, column sm of 2. And that should reduce that down much smaller, but I will actually want to have it as maybe a four, and that'll make it a little bit bigger, or even a six. So these are on small, small screen sizes, how I want to treat that image. And there we go. And now if I flip back to a smaller screen, I can have this down to a, uh, I think there is a extra small. I have to remember Grid system, which I might I, oops, bootstrap five grid. There we go. And let's take a look at, they have extra small as well. So by default, I can have all of these column uh, six, and that'll take up half the width on extra small screen sizes. And by default, it would be half the screen. So. By default, Chinese, high default, the ani chai kanak gaigua. So there we go. And that brings us to the conclusion of our full web page creation. Um, one thing I do want to show is if I wanted to change this up or customize this or make it transparent, there are ways to do that. It is a little more complicated. But for now, we'll just leave it like this. And that's it. That's our whole entire page. We have done it. If you made it this far, congratulations. And if you want to pick another website all together <clears throat> and see if you can pick any one of these websites and redo the same exact thing we did here. So feel free to leave a comment on our Facebook page, on our comments page. I will have a follow-up video on here just reviewing what we've done in detail and pointing out why we took the route we took. So I hope you learned, got some uh, got to learn uh, how to use arrangements and columns a little more easily and how to make things automatically responsive using Bootstrap. All right. Have a good day. Bye.